Um, who's the other one that's new? Glorilla. Glorilla has already done her Travis Scott, you know, type sacrifice slash ritual. You know, Gangsta Boo is dead and so is Young Dolph. Meanwhile, Glorilla is flourishing. Um, and another one, overnight, you know, signed a deal in the industry. They immediately get her a blonde wig, an icy chain, an icy watch, and um, what else did they give her? Veneers and a record label, yeah, record contract. So um, Glorilla, I don't think she's going to last. I think she's here today, gone tomorrow. Um, Cardi has pretty much hijacked her damn song because she's sinking and, you know, just fucking going through. But, you know, I think people like Glorilla to some extent, but it doesn't look good with all this shit with people dying at her concert. And that's, again, by design. You know, these people have dues to pay. You already know what time it is. So with her in the deep voice, you know, I don't think she's going to last. I really, really don't. I think, you know, I think she's just a fad. I mean, she may prove me wrong, but I think she's just a fad um, because she's she's not basically it's just not going to happen next to Ice Spice. She doesn't have the looks. And she doesn't have the hits. So, you know, I'm wishing Glorilla the best. But she's another one who is probably connected to the industry through Bloodline, which is part of her, you know, quick success. Um, and she's from Memphis. They're doing a lot of little Memphis rituals right now. You guys are paying attention to the news. Why is all these Memphis people dying and Memphis people this? And um, it's just a lot going on with Memphis right now. So that's, again, definitely on purpose. And then her middle name is Hallelujah. So, you know, she's like, oh, I grew up in the church, blah, blah, blah. Come on. It's giving so blasphemous. There's something really more to her story. And I just, I don't believe who none of these people say that they are because they're not who they say that they are. You know, these people will come to you. They've spent years, you know, just building an image for these people and building a this and that. Like, these people are not who they you know, pretend to be. Now, those are some industry plants. Comment below how you feel about those two people. You know, Glorilla's mom, no shade, looks like an extraterrestrial. And not to say she's ugly, but she just looks like she's not human. And these people are connected to fallen angels and bloodlines. Please believe. So extraterrestrials are real. You know, the Greys, the Anunnaki, you never know who these fucking people are. Stay woke.